Brothers Underwater Recovery is a dive team who searches for missing people and helps to clean up river systems. All right, guys, today we've got the cadaver team out here with us. We've got Alicia and Jack and Athena. We're going to search a couple of uh, a couple of government properties that uh, were some intel on. Uh, you guys would you guys kind of tell what y'all do? And, we are SARS team. We have several dogs right now. We only have Athena out with us. Um, she is trained in cadaver and tracking. So she can do scent tracking and she can also do cadaver. Um, we've searched uh, many places before. We've been successful and not successful with her. So it just depends on the, on the cases. So how many, how many, uh, let's just say people has she found? She's found four. Four, that is yes. awesome. Um, unfortunately three deceased and then she's right. found one she's found one there awesome so I know I asked you this earlier but I'm gonna ask you again do y'all got Facebook no, uh, we do GoFundMe not. any kind of funding type stuff go uh, one thing's done so 100%, 100% don't charge the families no. us anything just like we are um, no, when we're when we're told we go out okay so it's when someone contacts us and we're we don't charge you know we're here just to help so from this point we're going to use you as much as we can okay um let's set up a facebook page for you guys okay. um you know and i don't know if you guys do youtube or whatever but if not you know facebook would be great that way okay. people can reach out to you as well we will do that you know and not just us We'll get that done today. Awesome. So, uh, guys, we also got Dave with Adventures of Purpose with us. He's going to help us out. And uh, anyway, we're going to get out of here and go get set up and hopefully get something found. Let's spread out.
We got the cadaver dog right up here, guys. Staying in front of us. What I got? Jack. Jack. Yeah. See if she comes back to it, just tell her to find body or whatever you tell her to start searching. I should have brought her long lead. That's a deer scrape. Huh? Deer scrape. Yeah. I think this is more like a deer path almost. It probably is. There's a low spot. Thing is, none of this looks touched. Yeah, no, nah, it ain't. I mean, we're still, it's going to be smushed out. We're still down. way further down. Yeah, she will be because that's the water. That's where the scent travels to. Yep. That's gonna be deer. Yeah, that's gonna be deer. Yeah, 
Well, it's really soft. It sounds pretty good there, so it wouldn't take much to. I mean, it wouldn't take much to do. Stop. Plus, you smell that. Good. We're getting pretty close, right? Yeah, that's going to be a deer bone as well. Might be the other parts that I want that. Yeah. I'd say this is their Probably throwing and dumping ground. I got hit in a subdivision. So I ran down here died. Could be. And I'd say as a deer hunter, if I threw it over the back fence. No. We are in the hot spot, guys. From those houses to this house, all the way down. Okay, so we're in there. Either. We're in the hot spot. Like follow up just, on. Just, you know, like the reason that I come in and I do this stuff and, you know, he and I are on two separate teams, but, you know, we work together. Like we know that you guys are understaffed and, and sometimes just don't have the resources. So we come in and, you know, we want to do this stuff and work alongside with okay. you guys. But, you know what I, mean? I will make notes. I will make notes for the future and hopefully. Before you take, before you take off. Yes, sir. Is there anything you want to say to him about? Guys, and, I mean, you know, like I said, you know, just the information that we have received that I don't think has actually been you know, shared too much with EPD is you know, the, the search area that we have narrowed things down to do leave everything in your jurisdiction. Okay. Leave a perimeter that's extremely small in comparison to where we're standing right now. Okay. I do want to help. So, and I want to, obviously, this kind of drama is not, you don't need, no. okay? Um, so I'm going to try to, I'm going to at least nip this drama in the bud for you the best I can. And then we'll move forward from there, and I hope you get some better results from our detective office. I'd like you guys to come out with us. Right, I know. Because I'm bringing my dog that's where, Sunday. That's where our detective office and all that, my patrol guys, they literally, especially on sec days, late days and second shift, we are... Like you said earlier, one of you said we're short man. Yeah. My patrol guys are run to run to run. So when this came out, yeah, as we a, always hear y'all going. When this came out as a <laughs> when this came out as a supervisor, one, I wanted to get to you know get to the bottom of it, get some answers. Two, this isn't something one of my patrol guys can go handle something right. that's you know, sure. in, that's in progress. Right. Okay. Well, he so. calls just tell him we were Appreciate out. Appreciate it, brother. Good luck. Good luck, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. Weeks ago. Thank you woman Andy Wagner continues. Wagner has been missing for 16 months. Today, a group of volunteers took a cadaver dog and searched the woods near her grandparents home, hoping to find her any clues that might lead to figuring out her disappearance. Missing, like you said, since August of 2022. In that time, her family says they have heard nothing short of thousands of tips and stories, all hoping to lead them to Wagner. Today, I spoke with her grandparents, Tom and Sue Wagner. 
Well, today, Dave Yorkovich and Ronnie from the YouTube channels Adventures with Purpose and Brothers Underwater Recovery say they searched the woods near the home of the Wagners with that dog right there, a cadaver dog. Ronnie says he's worked with the Wagner family for almost a year now, while Yorkovich joined him in the last couple of weeks. Despite the time that's passed in her case, they say they're confident they're on the right track to not only bringing her home, but bringing her family closure. When I read about the case and then I contacted the family and, and I had an opportunity to meet you know, Andy's mother, Andy's father, Andy's grandparents, they're great people. And you spend a few minutes talking to them and you can just see the pain and the anguish. It's, it's in their face and in their voice when they speak about her. Somebody that was in this area has given us some information, some great information. And a lot of it's lining up with here. Yurkovich says his YouTube channel has put up a $2,500 reward for information that leads to the discovery and recovery of Andy Wagner. I'll have a number you can call to leave a tip over on our website at 14news.com. And it's a, whoever gives us the information, they can stay 100% anonymous. We don't care who they are, what they are. Well, Tom and I offered to do that with the EPD and the FBI, and they said no, that would damage the case. No. Well, no, we figured right now was a great time to do that because, well, A, you got the holidays, and B, enough time has went by that you know, no, I agree. people that want to be like, I you know, agree with lip, maybe, you know, maybe now that'd be a little bit of courage for them. Right. Now they got 2,500 reasons to right. open sure. their mouth. So, right. you're ready. Uh, Sue Wagner, W A G N E R. Tom Wagner, W A G N E R. You guys are the grandparents of Andy, correct? Yes, that's correct. All right, well, you know, starting off here, tell me about her. You know, you guys know her, what was she like? Well, she was the sweetest little thing growing up. And, um, you know, she did very well in school. She went to North High School. And um, she was a good granddaughter. And we miss her terribly. And she, uh, I guess, was the first that played volleyball and they won the sectional here. So they got their names up for Banner for the first one to be put up at North High School, which she's really proud of. And she had an infectious laugh, and, you know. And she played baseball. Yeah, it's like softball, yeah. Yeah. Well, and then for you guys here, I'm gonna come to you first, and also I'll kind of move the shots and everything, but you know, starting with you, Sue, tell me about, mm -hmm. You know, the, you know, since she went missing, you know, kind of, and, and I know it's such a broad one, it's hard to put words to it, yes. you know, but kind of what's that been like for you? Well, it's been horrible because she was last seen leaving our house and we reported her missing on August the 6th, but we didn't call EPD until uh, the following, that Friday. Mm -hmm. And, um. It's just always been, well, maybe today, Will, or something. Maybe today. When you think back to to August, you know, what comes to mind? She had just had a birthday. Mm -hmm. Her sister was getting ready to have her birthday in August. Um, her mother was going to be moving back to Evansville, which she is here. And... It was, you know, it's been rough. Oh, yes. Absolutely. And Tom, I'll come to you next and I'll move this again. I'll ask you this question, but kind of, you know, in, in the same vein, you know, take me take me back to to when she went missing, right? You know, she's, she's seen leaving you guys' home. And, uh, you know, you talking about her, I, I could see it in your eyes. You cared a lot about her. You're talking about, you know, high school volleyball and sports and everything, you know, all grandparent and granddaughter stuff, mm -hmm. you know, tell me about from your eyes, you know, what's, what's that time between been like? <clears throat> well, we never dream. It's going to be hard when I thought. That's okay. Take your time. No rush. <clears throat> we never dreamed about, you know, it'd be the last time we saw her. Uh, and just not knowing what happened. Uh, first they said, well, she run away. Well, we knew her, that's not happening. Uh, then 
and sex trafficking than the drugs and, you know, uh, just not knowing or getting closure. That's, that's the worst thing. Yeah, well, and tell me about that, you know, it's not knowing. You know, that's kind of the whole reason we're all out here today. So you're still, to this day, you know, looking and trying to get these answers, you know. I mean, I'm sure you've heard it all. You already touched on it there a little bit just now in your answer. But tell me kind of about that, you know, this, the, the process of, you know, not only are you missing your granddaughter, but you've also got all this media attention. And you're talking with police. You're talking with criminal investigators. Talking with, you know, uh, other folks and everything. You know, what's that process like from you guys? It's got to be draining. It's got to be taxing. I can't imagine what that looks like. Well, you know, Sue will say, you know, she thinks about her all the time. <clears throat> of course, I do too, but I try to, you know, not dwell on it. Uh, but yeah, you, you you think about it all the time. You really do. You know, there's not a day that goes by that we don't think about it. Uh, and all the leads that we would get coming in, you know, and they would just be a he said, she said thing. Uh, we even had one guy call us and said that Angie was with her in the car. Yeah. And um, we were to meet up at the Dollar General store. We went up there and we sit and we sit and we waited. I finally called the number that called us. And he said, uh, it was just a joke. So it's things like that. It's been really hard, just really hard. I'm gonna adjust this really quick here. Sure, we're still getting on in here. Okay, but we're already cooking right along, I promise, okay? You guys are doing awesome. So I will come to you and then I'll go back to you, Sue. You know, tell me about the investigation so far and, and tell me about, more so than anything else, I know that's, a, that's its own topic in, in its own right, but tell me about, you know, all of these leads and everything and then you know, having to dig through prank calls and, you know, you hear sex trafficking, you hear running away, you hear all these different things, you know, how do you kind of, at this point now, with all this time having been passed, how do you kind of pick out what you think is legit and you want to follow and at this point, what you think you've already explored or maybe isn't worth following up on? <clears throat> uh, I think EPD and the FBI could have done more. Uh, there are some things they told us and come to find out that wasn't the case. So I don't know really who to believe. You uh, just, just don't know. And then like the call, you know, he said, well, I'm the one that kidnapped her. You know, uh, just not, do, do we think she's dead now? Yeah. Uh, just we need to find her. What? No, I don't mean to keep to keep grilling you, but just keep giving great sound bites and keep giving things I want to ask you about. You know, so you mentioned there, you do think she's passed away now, but of course, what you still want is that closure. Sure, sure. You know, do you do you still feel like you're going to get that? Do you feel like that's still attainable? We hope so. Yeah, we're not giving up hope. Actually, we're not giving up. She's still alive, but. Uh, you know, the chance of that is very minute. Uh, you know, just to find her body. Absolutely. And then Sue, I'll come to you next. So, get this focused up. There we go. <clears throat> Tom mentioned it there, right? And, you know, feeling like more could be done and feeling like there are things that have been left out, things that have been missed, that sort of stuff, you know. This process, while not only heartbreaking, I'm sure it's been frustrating for you guys. Tell me kind of about that. Well, the not knowing. That's about the only thing I can tell you, the not knowing. And it wasn't like Andy not to, I mean, to go off and we not hear from her for days. She would check in every day. Mm -hmm. And um, that's why we reported her missing because you know, we just hadn't heard from her. We couldn't get a hold of her. And um, there was just a lot of, she didn't have a really good group of friends. She really didn't. And um, 
closure is a big part of it. You know, finding her body, the person prosecuted for what happened. And um, I just pray every day, you know, that something will be found out. Absolutely. And I've got, I'm honest with you guys, I've probably got one or two more than you guys, unless you have anything else you want to add about in this. You guys, you feel like you guys are doing great. So this is kind of for both of you here. You know, whoever wants to answer, I've got kind of a wide shot put up right now. I'm thinking of these guys right here in the corner right now, right? You've got people that have, have volunteered their time and are, and are putting up rewards and everything, that sort of stuff, you know. What does that mean to you too? Because I'm talking to you, it's clear you love Bandy, still do. Yeah. You know, clear she met the world to you guys, as is the same for most grandparents and grandkids. <clears throat> to see other people with the same drive and tenacity as you guys had, the same other people also wanting to find her and bring you guys closure, you know, what, what's that like for you too? Well, we are so proud of these people stepping in. Brothers um, Underwater. Recovery. And they have done more in the past week than what our law enforcement and stuff have done this whole year and four months. And, you know, we're just so thankful for them. We really are. Anything about that you want to add, Tom? Just that, uh, yeah, we couldn't thank them enough, you know, for what they're doing all the time, help and effort, and uh, the reward maybe, maybe that had somebody to come forward and, Give them a little help. Yeah. That's, that's what we're hoping for. Then I wanted to ask you guys one more question before I kind of open it up to you if anything I missed or anything like that. But you mentioned you feel like they've done more in a week than you've seen from law enforcement. You know, and this one's kind of up in the air. You know, whatever you want to say about it, you know, why do you think that is? Well, I think it's a fact of Andy's past <clears throat> and, um, the friends that you came, and they just got to the point to everywhere they would go, they would say, you know, um, they would be told it was by, you know, he said, she said, they just never could get any actual facts. And like Tom said before, you know, they would get leads and they would tell us, you know, that they did this and they did that and come to find out they never did. You know, I'm not trying to badmouth Evansville EPD or the FBI because, yeah. I, you know, we know we're not the only family that has this situation. But, you know, I just hope for anyone out there that has the same circumstance, you know, I hope that they find closure and um, even that their loved one would be home, brought home safe. Kind of the same, same, same for you over there? Yeah, just, you know, uh, there's possibly new leads that uh, might help. Yeah. So, yeah, perfect. Well, it's clear you guys haven't given up your hope uh, of finding her. You know, I, I can appreciate that, especially, I mean, why would you? I completely get that. Yeah. You know, there's only so much I can fit into, into one news package, right. you know, and obviously you guys have got just a wealth of, of information as far as you know, leads that you've heard, people you've spoken with, you know, your own feelings and emotions, things you have had to deal with, you know, but is there anything kind of critical if you're doing kind of a overall synopsis of, of Andy and her story to this point that I might have missed out? Anything important you guys want to add? Something, something really, you know, this, now's your chance, if you will, to get it off the chest. No, I think, I think no, I can't think of anything either. All right. Mm -hmm. You guys good? Then I'm good, all right? Thank you. Yes. I appreciate it. Yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you for thank the you. coverage. Of All right, guys, so we are done with day one in the search in this area. Um, behind us is a little pond that uh, we're going to search on our next video. So if you guys would, please subscribe. Go to the next video when we put it out. Watch it. Share this one out. Guys, thank you for watching. We had. Uh, Dave with Avengers with Purpose with us and a big huge thank you to them guys they've been a big huge help you know getting leads uh, they put out an awesome reward uh, for information and we've got some information coming in That's some great information great so information. definitely uh, definitely stay tuned for the, the following episode here you, you're not going to want to miss it absolutely
So, uh, yeah, we're going to end this one, guys. Thank you so much. Until next time, stick with us. Let's do it.